Huh? 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 A cacophony of squeals and excitement chat pattering rushes past the bookstore. Noise must have been woke must have woken Such me up. Commotion. No matter what all the fuss is about, it's far too late in the day to be causing such a ruckus. It's gotten late. Shoot, I was supposed to look for leads before sundown. For a year now, people, mostly girls, have been disappearing from their homes all over the prefecture. At first, everyone thought they'd just run off together. But as more girls vanish without trace, panic started to spread. The last seen on the bus to Sacramento. Having grown up here, I can't just stand by while so many people go missing in my backyard. Okay. So less people are being kidnapped than last time, I think. Wait, that horde outside sounded like a group of young girls. I should warn them. At the very least, follow after them. This could be a lead. Why do their voices sound familiar? Wait, don't leave without your books. Thanks. What was your name again? Whoops, almost forgot. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. Wait, are you Auntie Nyan? No. No. She was so brazen with me before. There's no way you're the same person. I rush outside, leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind me. There's no trace of the girls. Now it's foggy. It should be about where the bus dropped off the missing girls. Better hurry and catch up with that group before I lose their trail in this fog. It sounded like they were heading into the residential area through Gigi Alley. Were they chasing after someone? Hmm, did I make a wrong turn? There's no sign of anyone. I can't hear the commotion anymore either. The fog here is oppressively thick too. If I keep note of the missing person posters along the wall, I should be able to find my way. There's only a few of them, so I can use them as markers. Is that a footstep? What is that? Hello? No response. Was the wind too loud for my voice to be heard? Uh, hello? Take a step toward the shapeless shadow in the mist. I hear something crackle under my feet. What did I just step on? Something wrapped up in construction paper. There's various footprints stamped across the surface. Okay. It's a photo of an old man eating spaghetti messily. It must have been framed, but the glass is broken from being trampled. Someone from that group I heard must have dropped this. I sprint after them, only to smack right into something else a few steps in. Ow. Ow. Oops, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Hey, don't sweat it. It was my fault for standing in the middle of the road. Oh, let me help you with your books. Thanks. What a handsome boy. I heard that men are going missing too. Are you headed for the bus stop? You might have already missed the last one. No, I'm actually looking for clues about those girls that have been going missing. Are you trying to find someone too? I'm looking for my girlfriend. Okay. Poor thing. Was she part of that mob I heard earlier? Uh, what's her name? That depends. What's yours? Oh god. Ugh, that was so corny. Yeah, this guy's the worst. Hey, this may be a strange question, but do you not recognize me? Um, sorry, have we met? I don't usually forget faces. Ah, that must be it. You must not have seen me on TV yet. I made that one song, Lonely Devil. Cool. Oh wait, I know you. You're Captain Kid, right? The one and only. It's a widely adored local idol that appeared out of thin air a year ago. No wonder he's wearing that disguise. Bet he can't even go to the store without getting mobbed. Hmm. Still nothing. That's strange. Who'd you say you were looking for again? Uh, the girls that have been going missing. You're not looking for me? No. Say, you are an out-of-towner, right? I mean, you obviously don't live here. I'd know who you are. I know everyone around here like family. <laughs> I'm not really an out-of-towner. I used to live here. It's where I'm staying while I'm looking. Show me. Where I live? If you're really from around here, show me where you live. Um, stranger danger? I feel eyes digging into me from all around. I can't see them, but it just... But it can't just be paranoia. I'm not doing anything, so let's go now. Oh, don't forget your bag. You... <gasps> so, you're the one Buck wants. Great, the book's in there and he saw it. Damn it. Oh, you're the one I've been looking for all along. I'm suddenly madly in love with you. In fact, I know it's so soon, 
but let's get married too. Um, what? After all, so long as you're alive, I'll never have eyes for anyone else. Oh, never. He's tricking the girls to kill me. Killer girls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unseen hands desperately grab at me from all around, but I managed to shake off their grip and surpri uh, with surprising ease. Considering most of them are probably average teen girls, I wouldn't be surprised. And make a da mad dash forward. Behind me are dozens of footsteps. What's going on? Why am I being chased? Who the hell is Buck? Before I knew it, I arrived at my ancestral home, sitting ominously along the fog. Alone in the fog, even. There's flowers everywhere now. Uh, four heartbeats. Why can't I go home? Oh, wait. Wait. Could I always turn to the back? No, I couldn't. Why, could, why can I suddenly turn to the back of the book now? Like, that's a new one. Also, I don't think this page was here too, right? Okay. Am I in danger yet? Or am I just good? Okay, I need to get the rocks out. A lot of flowers. I could fit through that gap. Let's not go through there. You know what? Pfft, window views are so out of style. Oh. Wait, really? You're fine? Alright, well... Hi! Nice to meet you, I guess. Um... I guess that confirms I'm safe then, I guess. Okay. Oh, I can't even see the tally anymore. Oh, the door's gone! Rude! It was a nice door. I like that door. It was dory and doored. Um. Okay, plant mister. Idle the black goat. Facing tree. Douse any lit candles. Cool. Hey, Roxanne. This might be a bit of an awkward moment. Oh, you still have the shirt. Oh, that's cool. Hello. There she is. I could stare at her forever. Hey, Roxanne. In view of what we've been through together, you could call me... Roxy? I love how we still have the Zed there, but sure. I probably don't remember, but you called me that long ago, and I've grown rather fond of it. Did I? I don't actually remember you saying that. Of course, I'm really glad to see you again, Roxy. <laughs> how have you been? Never better. The Thousand are at their last gasp. The only two remaining original members are Buck, and kid. Oh. So now I have to be kid and then Buck's on his own. Should have figured that boy I met was involved. What happened to the rest? Well, every single person Buck sent to kill you instead joined you. Time and time again. So Buck sees to it that when I dream up a new reality, the traitors don't live to meet you. Does that include all the random people? Buck sends somebody to kill you. They fall in love with you instead. They betray Buck. Reality ends. Buck spends hundreds of years in time out. Then reality starts anew. Buck kills the traitor. Then sends somebody else after you. Hundreds oh, okay. of times over. So this has happened literally hundreds of times. Wow, sounds like I'm on fire. Mm. What? I've lost you many times as well. Sorry? I left you in their hands. How many times? I'm fine, Stardust, really. This is all nearly over. Soon, the Thousand will just be a distant memory. Okay, sweet. <laughs> ah! Tucked to the ground, there's a sickening sound of wet metal scraping and dull pressure on my stomach. My eyes shoot wide with shock. She's clawing at my clothes, and heck, hunting for a grip while we struggle for leverage, until eventually, nothing, she collapses. Why did she pass out? I gasp and cover my mouth in horror. It happened so fast, I... Roxy, what do we do? Can we do the, the healing thing? You know, think there isn't the, that Sorry, one ritual? She's dead. 
Oh. What? No, that's not possible. It's so fast. Already at death's door from exhaustion and starvation. Falling on her weapon was the final blow that stopped her heart. That normally wouldn't even be a serious injury. Chalk it up as another death by exhaustion from the Blackwoods. Oh, okay. She attempted to attack me, but died of exhaustion in the process. She's weak because she was about to die. Is that how I escaped from the Horde earlier? Probably, actually. And if it makes any difference... She had the Sacramento stare. Her conscience was long gone. Mentally... She wasn't here for her death. She's trying to comfort me, but even if it was in self-defense, it feels like I... That voice, it's the boy from earlier. Sounds like you had a bit of a nasty shock, huh? Buck's had a lot of time to reflect on how you beat him. And we've made it so it won't happen again. You're gonna like what we've done with the place. Let's see here. Number one, we took everything out of that room that we didn't need. No bass guitar, no nothing. You're unarmed. Number two, no door to the ritual room anymore. Nowhere safe. Eh, but you already knew that one. Number three. We begin our attack immediately. No negotiations, no honor duels, just last bitch standing from the get-go. Yay. Number four, we cleaned out the fridge as soon as you got here. So no ritual reagents for you. Number five, blast loud music to drown out our movements. And number six, burn this list after doing everything on it so she doesn't know what's coming. Oh. And he just announced the list. Well, here's number five. What do I do? I don't know. This has never happened before. I... Nothing like this. Then what's the point of the flowers? Sounds like they're getting serious. Guess we'll have to get serious too. Uh... Find an isolated area of your choice. Someplace where your cocoon will not be disturbed. Your organs will be liquefied. So any, any sudden movements will yield tragic results. Do not perform this ritual outside or near an open window. Oh, wait. I can inspect the body. Hold on. Take knife. Knife comes from sinking, sunk, and found. I can't uh, bring myself to use it against these poor souls, but might need it for these rituals. What we'll the blade with my skirt. Anyone in here? No. Okay. Flower. Beyond belief. Cool. Uh, I can just pick any room, right? Can I pick this room? No, it's still locked. What is that room? Oh. Door was fine, guys. Okay. Wait, what? Rebirthing? What? What- what is going on? Um... Uh... Cool. Sweet. Yeah, why am I rebirthing? That shadow isn't someone in front of me, right? What music are they playing? Oh, that was someone. I think, at least. What is rebirthing doing? I just did the ritual. I didn't think about it too much. I probably should have thought about it. I kept my injuries. Oh, wait, no. I remember. Like, yeah, in the second chapter, I kept my broken arm, right? So is this a healing thing? Uh, any organs will be liquefied, so any sudden movements will yield tragic results. Do not perform this ritual outside. Cool. Okay. Are you all right, my sweet? I think so. 
I'm still shook up by the one that rushed in, the one that, you know. Yes. Death can be an upsetting thing to see for the death shy. You could just say the normal people. You don't have to make a term for it. It's not that. She's not wearing robes or any mask. She's just had the stare. But she was so frail, so unlike the thousands. You've already figured it out on your own, haven't you? I didn't want you to find out. But your attackers are not members of the thousand. They're using innocent people as your assailants this time. Yep, okay, I saw that coming. This is a concerning bit of leverage they've created. Experience has taught them they can use your humanity against you. This feels so different from what little I can remember. How am I supposed to save any of them, Roxy? At this point, I know nothing I can say will stop you from trying to befriend the people actively trying to kill you. I mean, I've done it, like, twice now. If they're under my curse of thousands, then their admiration for Kid has been magnified to the point of fanatical idolatry. Hence, Kid's here. Huh. The only way to break their obsession is either by finding something else that they love even more, or by removing the object of their obsession. Got it. So I need to either kill Kid, or find something they prefer. I don't know anything about these people. Where would I even start? Mm, I gotta think of something. Uh, your body should be liable to change now. Have a knife in your person. Harvest meat from a mammal that died within the Black Forest within the last 24 hours. This works best if it's something that you personally killed. Chant twice while staring Danny near your partner. What? Oh. They made us something that died within the Black Forest in the last 24 hours. She's already dead, so there's no harm in this, right? I'll be quick about this, I promise. That should be enough. Carving up a dead human for their meat, I can't remember enough about myself to know if I'm better than this. Wanting to separate me from the thousands getting blurrier with every go-round. What? Why did that hurt me? Excellent work. Very, very good. It seems we have a fighting chance against their new tactics. Why did that hurt me? What's this? A portrait of your grandfather? Wait, my grandfather? Oh no. I thought you were alluding to something I'd forgotten. Uh, that's not him. I found it while I was coming here. I figured one of the people who went missing dropped it. Wait, if somebody went out their way to frame this, they probably care deeply about whoever's in this photo. What if it's one of the people chasing me around? Theoretically, I can use that to placate them? I could reunite this with its owner. Maybe they'll realize they love the guy in the photo more than the kid. But more than kid and leave. Brilliant as ever, my shining star. Okay. Be careful and observant. This photo might protect you from its rightful owner. But it'll have no effect on anybody else. Yeah. Right. I'll keep an eye out for other dropped keepsakes while going through the rituals. Okay. That's a girl. Let's not go that way. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Oh yeah, and there's the keepsakes progress. That's not the one I wanted to load, game. Wait, what's this? Wait, what? Why is there a mystery? I didn't get a choice at that start of the... What? I'm very curious. Why is that there? I can't click it. And it's not a division like any of the other endings. Excellent work. So what is it? I saw that. The emancipated body of the girl that attacked me. She looks even skinnier up close, poor thing. Uh If the ritual was successful, you should be able to see something glued between the next pages. If so, you can now sense living things on the verge of death. Your map will now automatically reveal dying things within range. Have a knife in your person. Chant while facing one rot bloom flower. Do not attempt this ritual in a room with more than one rot bloom. 
Don't feel too bad. If the Rot Bloom is here, they won't be needing their heart anymore. Hopefully they don't try to take it back. Okay. You're not approaching me. You're not approaching me. Anyone in here? Why is there blood here? Oh! Uh, I clicked off the screen at the last second. God damn it! Excellent work. Yeah, excellent work. Thanks. Anyways, moving on. Hug me. What's that? I wonder. Should be able to see something glued between the next pages. If so, you can now sense living things on the verge of death. Your map will now automatically reveal dying things within range. Is that what the spider is? What's that? I wonder. Great, now she's following me. Whose phone is this? Definitely not my sister's. I've never seen this on my phone. I'll hold on to it. Maybe I can return it to whoever this owns later. Dining! There you are. Huh? I call back from the number from the missed calls. I put it on the speaker. Erica? Erica! Oh, thank goodness I was worried sick! Oh, thank God. Mama? What happened to you? Where did you go? Why did you leave? Try to be a better mom. I. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Okay. Lady, please come home. I'm coming, mom. Thank you. Oh my god. I give her the phone back and she dashes off. Beautifully morbid looking flower. This must be the rot bloom. Oh god, that was close. Why can I always interact with the goddamn spice? Sweet. Um, if you should be able to see something glued between the next pages. If so, you can now sense living things on the verge of death. But yeah, yeah. Do the girls not count. Have a nice on person, and I have my heart on me as well. Oh, and I've used the phone, so it tells me. Chance while facing one rot bloom flower. Do not attempt this ritual in a room with more than one rot bloom. Don't feel too bad if there is a rot bloom here. They won't be needing their heart anymore. Hopefully they don't try to take it back later. Cool. Sure. And there's only one. Cool. Good to know. Oh. That's me? What? I hope you appreciate the situation you're in. We can do this forever. Tell me who the bookmaker is. Oh. Over my dead body. This is me from a different... different life. Accommodate that. <sighs> Giving up? Finally. My arm's getting tired. She never breaks. This is a waste of time. We'll have to find leads on our own. She told you she was from here, right? Yeah, but I think she was lying. In case she wasn't, check every house. Starting with the ones near our base. Find a photo. Something left behind that proves that she lived there. 
What? Oh, that's like dozens of houses, though. I gotta do that all by myself after burying her. <sighs> if it makes you feel any better, this is the worst day of my life, too. Buck wants to know who the bookmaker is and where I live. If he knew every either piece of information, he could find me long before I made it to this house. Before I know what's going on, even. If that happens, I'll be out, all out of redos. I'm going to try not to think too hard about it. Or about the soft pulsations of my own heart and my hands. Cool. Um, what's the next ritual? The woods fatten themselves. Okay. Now I just need to get out. Okay. I think I'm good. I don't know what that is. I think that's flowers, but it looks like a face. Yeah, it's flowers. Okay. Oh, it's, okay. It was messing with my head. I don't know if it's worth checking the other rooms. What? Please come here. Let me kill you. Oh. That's your husband. Oh. Stand a safe distance away and pull out the cracked portrait I found earlier. Ooh, what have you got there, dearie? So, so handsome. Is that my. Is that my Angus? Oh, oh, oh that's my Angus. <laughs> oh. Thank you. She turns and leaves as quickly as she came. So wait, can I turn off the TV? There's a severed head on the table. A note tied in his hair reads, For you, my love, the ultimate souvenir. Head belongs to one half of the pop duo on the TV. Take the head, someone out there might be looking for it. Number seven. Wait for you to come turn off the music. Damn it! Great. So don't turn off the music. Oh, but I have the head still. Buck wants to know who the bookmaker is, where I live. Yes, been here, done that. Oh, and I still have the head. Sweet. Okay, so I didn't waste my chance. I did actually do what I was supposed to do. I just found the head before I needed it. Hell yeah, that's great. That's lots of progress right there. Okay. From here. There should be... Theoretically, more I could pick up, right? I didn't really look around as the thing before. I don't actually know what's here. Maybe the butterfly in the front door? That's just Buck, isn't it? No, that isn't Buck. Who is that, then? That's definitely not Buck. Looks like the triplet toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Um... Ripes, what a mess. Yeah. You're, uh, I do love how you never question the flowers on the ground. Cool. Wait, does that mean... I present the head of the idol. I saw you two on TV. Any chance for a reunion tour? You're the... It's your partner. The idol's head just talked. They leave, harmonizing until there's... They're too far for me to hear.
Okay. So there should be more I can find, right? Let's go downstairs, I guess? God damn it. Okay. Great. Sweet. Awesome. Love this game. I am making progress, though, even though I've died. Can I not find the idols anymore? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so theoretically, the old woman and the idols should be gone. Should. Emphasis on should. Because I have tamed them with gifts of caring. Um, anything outside? Muffled headphone music. Hey! Looks like someone left their CD player here. It's covered in punk stickers. With the headphones, I can hear an acoustic song playing sounds homemade. It's a belong to one of the folks hiding out here. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Alright, sweet. So that only leaves one more artifact or package or whatever the hell left, right? Still locked. There was a girl definitely over here before. Did I miss something in here before? The flower... Doesn't know... Also, yeah, about sensing things that are dying. I thought the girls were dying. You're doing so well despite the circumstances. I'm proud of you. I'm missing only one item. I'm actually doing really well. Thanks, Roxy, but... but what? What's troubling you, my shooting star? I just saw all the flowers I've left. Each one holds the memory of another time I didn't make it. I wouldn't advise seeing any more echoes of past realities. Oh. All of the flowers on the ground are times I've died. Oh, that makes a little more sense. Believe me, I've had my fill. But it's just so strange to realize how many times we've gone around. I was thinking the same thing. To think Buck hasn't given up after all this time. It's strange. Whenever my followers achieve lifespans so long that it borders on immortality, they usually end their lives within a year. Without the ticking clock, there's no reason to do anything today, tomorrow, this month, ever. Even with my powers, the longest a human has ever chosen to live is 125 years. Buck is thousands of years old now. To think he hasn't gotten tired of this yet. That's actually really interesting. So you can choose if you die. Roxy, it's okay. I've made a, it to the last ritual again. You're almost out of here. You managed to get through everything. Ah, oh, well, we kind of phoned it in with the outsourced killers, huh? But they're still useful for just one more thing. Check this out. You're going to love it. Oh, there's nothing I hate more than people that run from burning buildings. If anyone did that, I wouldn't love them anymore. There's just something so beautiful about someone who could sing their love for me amidst the fires of passion until they drop dead. <laughs> Do you see now? If you uproot the woods, everybody burns. Make your choice. That's his game. Turning his fans into hostages? I can't just give myself up, but I can't spe send innocent people to their demise. Is there a right move? Remember, there is a third option. If you uproot me and then kill Kid, his followers will flee. The object of their lust, dead. Die, let die, or kill. I know these are impossible choices for you especially, but whatever choice you make, I'm behind you 100%, my starlight. Thank you. Truth is, I can't make any of those choices. It got me trapped three different ways. I still have a faint hope that being stubborn will see me through this. If I find all the hostages keepsakes, there's a chance I won't be forced to make a choice.
Okay, but I'm only missing one. Where have I not checked? What rooms have I missed? I haven't checked this room. Right? Okay, and he doesn't kill me if I don't turn off the music. Cool, I guess? Um... I just have to double check the rooms, I guess. Uh, that's a mushroom. What am I missing? I'm just gonna go room by room to see if I see anything. I don't know, it might be downstairs. I don't think I've missed anything. Um... I checked everything in here. Um... That's just pillows. Anything in here? Uh... Surely there's not something else in here, right? Cooking oil. There's the flower. Uproots. Got it. Is it you? Surely not, right? You're not the... Yeah. You're not the... Okay. Yeah, you're not the video player. It's the girl downstairs, I guess. Okay, I guess. Um... Guess I'll try and go downstairs. I guess I can't go downstairs unless I pick up the item. I found her. And you, Miss Rocker, can have this. Crank the volume as high as it can go and hit play. An acoustic song starts. What is that music? Her voice had definitely got the right person. Don't you recognize who that is? Wait, I know who that is. That's me. That's my song. That's me. Are you serious? But it's so. Give her back her CD player. She quick sh words. She quickly puts the headphones on. That's really me. And crawls away, nodding her head along with the music. Sweet. Okay, so I needed that if I wanted to progress. Cool. Um, what is the guy doing then? What do, what do I grab for him? All the roots and trees must must actually be blood vessels. Take a wallet. The ID says this belongs to Kenji Ito. Says here he just turned twenty two today. And to the poor guy's wandering here by mistake, or he's here with the ones chasing me. I'll hang on to this. Come in handy. And that's the last one. Got it. Okay. And now I go to the front door. And I can free him. There shouldn't be anyone else looking around, right? Everyone else should be gone. Um, and it's not that way. It's this way? Yes. And then left. Now I can go to the front door. Hey, gotcha. got a thing for you. Happy birthday, Kenji. What? It's your birthday today, isn't it? Isn't this yours? You remembered my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> so 
Someone remembered my birthday. Aw, that's actually... Aw. He stumbles off, wiping away his following tears. Don't forget your wallet. I'll drop it off the police station later. Um... Cool. But that means I've gotten everyone out, right? Why do I have two more... Those are just general things. Like... Butterfly cotton is... Uh, why is the... How long has that butterfly been in here? Every time it's here, and I don't know why. Like, does it have meaning? Or, or is it just... No, it has to have meaning. I wouldn't be able to inspect it otherwise. It'd be such a weird choice otherwise. I have to leave the music on, so just ignore it. And I can go downstairs. And start the ritual. Alright. Uh, the ritual will cause the Black Woods, blah, 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 blah. But be warned, you can never fully leave. No further reagents are needed. While facing a heart, chant. Got it. And so, my Black Woods burn to ash once more. Looks like I really am leaving again. These dreams with you, so long and so short. And never dull. You're welcome. We will meet again, yes? I started to grow fond of Sacramento. It's a cozy diversion from the outer cosmos. And it kind of feels like my second home. Well, you keep dreaming me up, so presumably I'll be back. And not absently. My thoughts are preoccupied with what's to come. I make the right choice. You told me once. Nothing is worth regret. Memories and lessons are all worthwhile. Your story is still being written. Even if this chapter ends differently than you'd hoped. I thought that was an insightful thing of you to say. Thank you, Roxy. And thank you, my starlight. Take care. And be good. Buck's behind me, isn't he? Oh, he's not. Okay. Okay, so I should just be able to leave. Because everyone should be out. Yeah, no one else should be inside the building. Except for Mr. Idle Man. Okay. Cool. And front door. They didn't turn back to look at me. Not even for a second. You used the Black Woods to warp their desire. Of course their adoration wasn't genuine. I didn't know! When I suddenly got popular, I didn't guess it was because I was brainwashing everybody. Well, you told them to die. All I knew was that everyone I met in Sacramento would become my biggest fan. That's all Buck told me. You told them to die. But if all of it was fake, what was it all for? The killings. So many people died over this. His eyes are back to normal. His desire for his fans, adoration is zero. The black. Oh. He desired fans, and now he doesn't have them. Oh, okay. He was using you to feed the woods and to catch me. You only fell for it because you were brainwashed too. You should go. You think I'd save everyone else but you? Come on, let's go. And go where? If the police didn't know I'm connected to every disappearance over the last year, they know now that we let a dozen witnesses go, and now that the woods are burning, I've got nowhere to hide. My life's over. They're not gonna buy a four-eyed goat from outer space made me do it. Everything I was working so hard for. It all vanished the second I set foot in this awful town. If I had any idea. You know, I heard your song on the radio before the disappearances started. Only double. It was pretty good. <laughs> good grief. At least I still have that. I'm turning myself in. I'll take whatever sentence I get quietly. And then, if I ever get out... I'm starting over in earnest. Oh. He leaves, disappearing into the fog, like his fans before him. I follow shortly after, bidding farewell to my home yet another time. I walk until the house becomes small, flicker in the distance. Strange, I don't usually make it this far, right? Did I do it? Am I finally free of the nightmares? Wait, what's that? That's Buck. That was definitely Buck. Great! Sweet! Oh, that's why it was chapter 999. That's how many times we'd been doing it. 
That makes so much more sense. Kid has left the thousand. Chapter three. True end. Okay, so I got the true ending first try. Um, it does beg a question though. Oh. If you want to keep your progress, load from a checkpoint instead. Whoa, really? Oh, okay. Thanks for the warning. That would have been bad. But what happens here? Loading this checkpoint will reset your keepsake progress. What? Then what's this? Yeah, what's that? I'm so confused. Why is this here? True end. About to uproot. Um... Well, I can't get the other ending now unless I reset. I might leave that to the next episode because I'm running out of time. That being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out some of my other stuff. I've had a very good time with this. Uh, it's a very fun game, honestly. And it's not... It's the right level of creepy. It's not overly intense or pants shittingly terrifying. This is this is the right level of spook for me. A lot of atmosphere, a lot of cool atmospheric lore and ideas. This is the favorite kind of horror game for me, especially because it's got quite a bit of comedy to it as well. But that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!